Hello Beavers, it's Anna here. Um, I'm going to show you the next part um, of the Great Indoors badge that you're all working on just now. The next part is a practical skill that you have to learn and which might be quite useful um, when you're out and about. So the skill I'm going to show you just now is how to tie a knot and the name of this knot is a reef knot. Now some of you might already know this or you might know part of it. If you tie your shoelaces then you'll certainly know the start of it. Um, so I'm going to show you how to tie this knot and what you can do is you can practice it at home and then after I've done the knot here what I'm going to do is show you how to use the knot uh, and the knot that we're going to do, um, or the use that we're going to have for it, is to tie an arm sling. But I'll show you that after. So the first video is just to show you how to tie the knot. And all you'll need for this is a piece of string or rope. I've got a shoelace that I'm going to use. Um, and if I show you just now um, on the table here, uh, I'll just come in a wee bit closer, thank you. <laughs> so here is our shoelace. Um, what I've done is I've taken the ends, one in each hand. So this is my left hand and this is my right hand. What I'm going to do is cross the ends together so my left hand is going over the top of the right one. And then I'm going to bring this bit over and bring it up to my right hand. So this is the start of your shoelaces if you're tying your shoelaces just now. And then once I've done left over right, I'm going to do right over left. So I take the right bit and make the cross that way. So the right bit's on the top. Then I take that right bit under, like that, and pull it together. So I have that as our reef knot, you see? It's a nice secure knot there. So if you practice this at home, and then get a little photo that you've done it, you can send it to us and that will show us that you have learnt the reef knot. And you might want to try, um, if you haven't already, maybe try tying your shoelaces as well. You might want to practice that as well. Um, but just for this badge, if you tie this reef knot, the next video I'm going to show you is how to tie it um, for an arms thing. Okay? So hello again beavers. Um, this is the second video for the practical skill part of the Great Indoors badge. Now I've got two helpers with me just now. This is Jess and you know Emmy. Do you want to say hello guys? Hello. And they're going to help it, help it, help me to show you how to tie an arm sling. Now this is using what we'd normally use as a triangular bandage and luckily all of you have your own triangular bandage in the shape of your necker. So we can use this to make a sling um, if you had to when you were out and about and you had your necker to hand. If you didn't have your necker, you could use a square piece of fabric. So if you, um, in the house, if you had a, a scarf in a square shape and by folding corner to corner, you can make a triangle that way. So we have our necker. So Amy's let me use hers, thank you. And we're going to pretend that Amy has hurt one of our arms. So it's your right arm, isn't it, that's hurt? Yeah. Um, so what we do is we take the necker and we take the long side of the triangle and we put the long side away from the arm that Amy has hurt. There we go. Now, Amy, can I get you to put your arm across your chest like that? And just hold that there. So now what I'm going to do, this is the triangle shape, I'm going to take the bottom part and lift it over to her other shoulder. Like so, there we are. Now, Amy, if you can turn around for me, that's lovely. We're going to tie the knot at the back here. So our reef knot, if you can remember, is left over right and right over left. So here's our two ends. I'm going to do left over right, like that. And then right over left, like that. And that makes our reef knot there. So that's nice and secure. Sorry, Amy, catching you here, there. There we are. Now, Amy, if you can turn around again, that's lovely. Now Amy's arm is nice and secure in the bandage and we've got her fingers tucked away in there. And just with this corner to make it more supported here, if you can twist this, <coughs> excuse me, twist it round like that and then tuck it in underneath the elbow there. That's it, you pop your arm down, Pip, that's lovely. There we are. And then our arm is nicely supported. 
Okay. Now, um, if you once you've managed to practice your reef knot with a piece of string or lace or rope, um, you can have a go with this as well using your necker. Um, if you have a brother or a sister, you could practice with them. Or if you have a big teddy, you could use it on them. Or maybe even a friend if you have one nearby. Um, and if you can show us that and take us a, a photo and send it in, and that will be your practical stills of the Great Indoors badge, okay? Guys, do you want to say bye-bye? Bye. Bye. Jess, do you want to say bye? What? Jess? <laughs> okay, bye everyone. Thank you.